How you guys doing? This is Josie. In this month video, we'll concentrate in Logic Pro X smart controls, which are pretty cool. If you have a keyboard that has a bunch of knobs, you can assign the knobs to pretty much control uh, any parameter of any synthesizer you decide to use in Logic. Or if you have a dedicated controller just for that, it's a perfect tool to use in Logic Pro X. As usual, I try to make the videos short, um, but it's very hard to do do that when there are a lot of details that you don't want to skip and they'll help you in the long run so bear with the longer videos but they're very useful I want to say first of all thank you to the subscribers that have subscribed and to the subscribers that have been with me since I started this uh, project I thank you very much for supporting this channel and I ask for your continual help in trying to make it grow it'll help me make more videos so yeah let's get to it so basically um, I'm a big fan of this because I can use it for quick automation things and I can use it for live performances when I do a lot of control controller stuff which I really enjoy a lot and I'm starting to upload some of those to the channel as well and maybe later on I'll describe how I actually map those so stay tuned so let's do it here I have uh, Logic Pro X open I've opened up Alchemy and uh, you can do this with any synthesizer you like I'm gonna click on there and the Alchemy plugin opens up and usually if you're in browse mode you'll see it that way but you know we'll put it in advance so we can see all the parameters that we can map I'm going to go on here and I'm going to go basic and I'm just going to load a basic you know anthemic synfleet or anthemic synfleet or in Spanish anthemic synfleet I have no clue but in any case that's the one we've selected I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller because I want you guys to see the smart control as well as the synthesizer so if you go up here to the top portion of your logic next to the mixer you'll see the smart controls just click on that and open it up okay I'm just gonna slide this guy away for the minute and usually when you open up the smart controls logic has already done some you know mapping for you as you can see here's an automatic smart control and um, what I want to do in particular is change that or I can do my own so I'm gonna go to generic block 12 I mean wood or block it's just the face 12 is the amount of parameters you can map is uh, up to 12 so we'll do that and you see wood is just the color the other one would have been in black I'll show you guys so it really doesn't matter it's your taste I think wood looks uh, easier on the visuals video so we'll stick with wood okay so here we have we have an open dial as you can see logic has already mapped the delay in the phaser and then we have these that are open that we can assign to anything okay so let's do that I'm gonna move the synthesizer over and you see here it has parameter mapping and external the external is what we're gonna use after we've selected what parameters we want to control okay so I'm gonna take this guy right here I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go to parameter mapping and I'm gonna hit learn and I'm gonna select what I want to map I'll select cutoff okay and then I'm gonna take learn and get rid of it and if you can see here I'm moving this and you'll see it move up here let's make it a little bit bigger because I think it's a little small for you guys and there you go you see that so that's one we're only gonna do for the sake of, of you know making the short the video not so long we're to just do like two of them um, cool so I took the frequency cut off and let's do the decay maybe the decay is pretty cool as well so I'm gonna learn it I'm gonna select this one right here and I'll hit the K up here get out of learn and you can see that moving as well okay let's see which is probably another cool one that you guys can use oh well let's do the delay in the face already done uh, maybe the resonance let's do the resonance so again learn select that one and let's go to is this the resonance yeah let's do the resonance here and it'll learn that Great. and you see it writes the name down of what, what we've done resonance decay so you know so we turn that up and down and you can see it moving another cool thing that we can do you see I've mapped them to those let's map a couple of effects as well let me go here to send one I'm gonna put bus one and on bus one we'll add like a reverb okay let's select uh, just a regular doesn't matter which one for the sake of this turn this up great now let's do a second one and we'll do delay on that one and we'll do a sample delay now what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you guys how to map two things to one knob okay 
I'm gonna select this one right here okay and it'll be the bus one first see that okay now I'm gonna open up this triangle right here okay and let's go back here so that should be send one okay what I want to do now is I want to add a mapping okay and let's make sure that send one is correct here I'm gonna hit learn again just to make sure okay okay that's great now what I want to do is under this I'm gonna click and select add another mapping see add mapping so now it's unmapped, it's highlighted, I'm going to hit learn and I'm going to select the second one here. Okay, I'm going to get out of learn and if you see, once I turn this knob, it turns both of them. Okay, and the value of how high you want it to go, you can change here. What's also cool, if I invert it, one will go up and one will go down and create some pretty cool crossfading effects, you know. I'm going to leave it like that, I kind of enjoy that, turn the reverb up while the delay goes down and just like the sweet point that they meet and do some creative cool stuff if, it, if you're into sound design and creating your own sound, it's pretty cool. So yeah, there you have it, we have mapped the things that we want to control okay, in the parameter mapping section of this and let's make sure that we're good so the delay is happening and you can see the knob here turning, let me make it bigger so you guys can see it better. That one is moving that. Okay, you guys know it's moving it. I don't have real estate. The phaser is moving it there. Cut off. It's, it's really hard to do it with the mouse. That's why we're going to set up an external controller to do all this stuff. So you guys can pretty much see that all that is happening. So let's get, let's get to the fun part. Okay, I'm going to close this window out because I don't need to see it right now. I'm going to make this guy again smaller. Okay, and now we're going to go to external assignment. If your controller is plugged into your USB and Logic recognizes it, then you're good to go. So let's hit this learn button here. And the first thing we want to assign is this delay. I'm going to go to my Novation launch control. You can basically do this with any keyboard that you have that has knobs or anything else. This one is just a bunch of knobs. I'm really into... Uh, doing some crazy effect stuff and um, I have a bunch of controllers I will be putting more videos up of crazy stuff and you guys will get the gist of it so I'm gonna turn knob number one here and as you can see it's moving my delay so that's wonderful now I'm gonna get out of there I'm gonna go to the next one which will be my phaser I'll hit learn and I'm gonna select two for that okay get out of learn, I'm going to cut off, I'm going to hit learn again, I'm going to select my third knob, okay, fourth, same deal, learn, fourth knob, okay, decay, learn, fifth knob, and the send, let's change this name by the way, let's do send one and two, because this is pretty much what, they, what it is, so we'll know and keep good order. I like to be very detailed because once you start doing a lot of key mapping you totally forget what it is that that one knob was mapped to so it's good to really be detailed in names. Okay so we've selected that one I'm gonna hit learn on there and I think we were up to one two three four five six so six will be that one. So here we are let's check the knobs out delay uh, I think this was the phaser cut off, the resonance, the decay, and send one and two. Okay. So that's working for us. So now let's see um, how it sounds with just a quick note. We'll add a quick note here. Okay. Create an empty MIDI region. Let's extend it in four bars. Let's loop it. Double click that. I just insert like a C2, so a low note here. Great. So it's four bars long, and it starts in bar one. We'll play it, and I'll turn some of these knobs. And you pretty much can now automate and do this live. Phaser. 
to cut off frequency resonance be careful with that you can blow a few speakers if you're out of control with that and the decay of the sound itself and now remember sentence one and two one one we mapped to go up and the other one to go down on there and you can see that's pretty cool so yeah have fun with it kept it small and simple for you guys you can do some really cool stuff doesn't matter what kind of music you do it could be hip hop it could be techno whatever you prefer just be creative that's the fun part i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always stay in touch uh please follow me on ig pretty hybrid and check out my website prettyhybrid.club i have some free sound packs you guys can download and as always respect and create lots of music ciao